Welcome back my friends. So what we are going to do, we are going to continue working uh, with our profile photo model. And because we do have this profile photo model, now I just want to add so PHP artisan make migration. So I just want to add photo ID ID to users. And remember that we do have, have that dash dash table and dash dash create. So I'm going to use dash dash table equal users. And I'm going to hit enter. Now this will create a new migration for us. Let's go here. Let's go to the database. Here it is. Add photo ID to the users table. Now inside there's a difference. Here it's saying create that will create a new table. In here, in up method, we do have only table. So that is a little bit different. In here, we need to drop that column that we're going to create. So there is a massive dip difference between creation a table and updating the user's table. By the way, this one, right? This user's table. So I'm trying to explain as, clear, as simple as possible. So I'm just going to say table, unsigned. You can see unsigned big integer, and I will say photo ID. And um, let's make it here nullable. <coughs> Sorry. And make it like this because it's not going to work. Assign big integer that will receive nullable values. We, so we don't need to actually have uh, the, t um, the actual image there. Also here, we can drop this column and we say table. So we use table, not drop if it exists. So here it's a different schema drop if exists the entire table. And here we're gonna, not gonna drop the entire table, but we're gonna drop the column like that. And we're gonna specify photo ID. This column here that we are just creating. Now it's time to do PHP artisan migrate. And let's see what's happening. Here it is. So it's migrated a photos table and it's also migrated photo ID. So if I go back here, if I refresh, I do have the photos table, which is empty. Here is a structure. It's a big integer. And if I go in the users table, I do have the photo ID that will receive, receive null values and it's a big integer as well. That's all good. Now we do have a lot of things that we need to start working on our users controller. Now the users controller, I'm just going to close this part. I'm just going to close this one. Uh, photo and user, we don't need them. Edit, we also don't need them, but what we need is users controller. This users controller, this update method, is actually something that we need to fix. So uh, what we are going to do, we do have this if input, we do have this checking for the password. So if input password is empty, we're going to grab the other one and stuff like that. But now we need to grab something else. We need to check if file equal request file and we will check photo ID. Now, this is the photo ID, not from the database, it's the photo ID from this guy here, from this input field here. It's not, it's not input field, it's like, it's file, from that file. And remember, to include this one here on top. Now we are checking if that file has been selected and we're gonna say name and also I'm not gonna put it here in this user's request I'm not gonna put it here photo ID as required because you can choose not to and that's why it's nullable here. All right. So what else we need to do? So I'm going to say name equal file get client original name 
and I'm gonna do it like this. Now file that will get the name. I just want to move this one into. Do we have something here? Let me just check because I'm working on different projects. Yeah, in a public. What we do have here? We do have IMG. Okay, we're gonna leave it in an IMG there. So we're gonna separate them. So in IMG, I'm just gonna create IMG. If there is not no IMG, if you don't have this folder, where is it? If you don't have this folder, it, it will be created like this because we're saying move to somewhere, but it's not not exist. This function will create that folder. And the second parameter we need to pass is the name that we are grabbing here. Very good. What we can do is actually we can just copy it here and uh, I will dime dump the name only and see what we are getting from the name so I'm just gonna refresh and we do have the rig we do have this one I'm just gonna put it here and image not available let's see what's happening here it is image not available and that comes along with the extension PNG that's what I really like here actually you can get the extension separately but I'm not gonna do it right now now what I'm going to do here okay just comment this one up so file move after the file move I'm gonna create photo variable and that will come from the photo class and I will say create so I just want to create something there I'm just gonna pass the name and name so here what I'm just basically saying create this um, create this so actually we need to import it this class is all is imported let's just go back here it is photo now what I'm basically saying okay we do have this photo class we just create and in the name I'm grabbing this name here with the extension and also now I store it in a variable because now I can use something like this I can say input photo ID and I can just grab that ID from there photo ID that's nice so I do have this photo ID there very good I'm grabbing it and I'm storing in the input photo ID so that is pretty much done after that we now do do have the photo ID and after that we are updating user with this input this input holds the photo ID of our of that class here actually if we have here if I go here we're gonna have one in the name of the image and this one will come back here in this input and we will grab it from there and we're gonna save it in the database now let's see what if this is gonna work so I'm gonna save it and let's hope it's gonna work so Rick browser image not available just let me check check before I don't have it. anything here I don't have it anything in the users table and I'm dealing with this guy here so I'm just updating user has been updated you don't see any changes here because we don't list here now just refresh now the photo ID is there that's very nice and I was just confused because I have photos instead of clicking photo here it is we do have this ID image not available and we do have this one now the thing is interesting but if we try to update a new picture and if we want to edit again now it will be edited again but look what is happening here the profile image is not available there is a with new ID in here in the users we that we do have this that ID too so now I'm referencing this ID from the photos I'm not referencing the image I'm just referencing the ID and from that ID we can grab always grab this profile image not available so that's pretty much it our logic is working so we are able to create something one more thing that we need to check if I just want to update Rick one and 
I don't want to update anything else. Let's see what's happening. So I don't see any changes there. Very good. And I don't need to see any changes here. The photo of photo ID 2 remained the same. By the way, this is rig 1, and I'm going to change it again to rig. Very good. Now, for the profile, you can grab any images from online, or you have yours. You can put it there and just test it out. So that's pretty much it. We just grab the photo ID. We just put it in the input, and again, when we update the user and here we created um, we created photo and we insert it back to the photo table and that's pretty much it so we are done for today thanks for watching um, if you don't understand just watch the lecture again and if you don't want to hear my voice just mute it because <laughs> I don't want to hear my voice again twice and that's pretty much it we have done we have accomplished a lot now we need to deal how to get this photo up here so we can see what we are dealing with so thank you very much uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you in the next one bye